Hey. Then. She looks at me seductively from on top of a bed covered in spiderwebs. <laughs> I was waiting for you. I've been waiting for you for so long. What are you doing? Every word from her lips drips honey. In contrast, my voice only gets shriller. This is not like her at all. Is this really the same hero? Edith. Hero gracefully, gracefully slides over the bed and beckons to me suggestively. What are you trying to say? Do you understand the situation we're in? <laughs> what does that matter? You're here, I'm here. Isn't that enough? Is she being possessed? Her pale ties glow on the bad shit. As she poses seductively. She almost looks like a spider preparing to strike at her prey. We're all alone. Doll back. Take a good look. The red raincoat flashes before my eyes. Could it be Hiro is acting like this because... Is she continuing the questions from earlier? In that case, the clue would be... Remember. What did she say before? <laughs> Go on. Look. Cute. <coughs> Hito suddenly starts coughing violently. It, it's hard to breathe. Please, my back. The instant I touch her, her coughing stops. That feels good. But I know. Hido suddenly lowers her voice. I tried hard during college and at work not to lose the man. But I'm all alone in the end. No one ever looks my way. I'm sure you're not interested in someone like me either, Edison. Shrill laugh pitches into madness. Hey, get it together! I shake her shoulders repeatedly, but she doesn't reply. It can't be, is she? Her personality has suddenly and dramatically shifted, and this crazy laughter? Cold sweat drips down my neck. This is almost like. What's going on? Is someone in here? Done. You came? Sorry, I'm late. I rushed over as soon as the emergency patient was stable. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but... I quickly tell Daimon what's going on. He swiftly examines the laughing Hino and turns to me with his findings. 
No physical trauma, but her mind's confused. She needs to be hospitalized. We're on the third floor. How do we get her? How do we get her out? I've learned a patient carry. We just need to get her on our backs. Come, we need to hurry. If she's been poisoned, then time is everything. Right, I'll help. It was a bizarre and horrible night. In the end, Hito kept cackling as we carried her out of the hotel. We put her in the ambulance and Diamond rode with her to his hospital. The siren blasts through the night. Exhaustion bears down on me and I find that I need to sit down. When I come back to my senses and look up, the rain has already stopped. The moment I get back to the mansion, I collapse on the sofa. Ugh. Fury rises within me without an outlet. Why? Why is this happening again? I'm sure I sealed Mary. So then why? Why again? The image of Hido earlier fixes in my mind. I have to do something. Something. Her shrill laugh echoes in my ears. That's right, I have to investigate again tomorrow. Once I'm done looking things up, I should go to bed early. I hear the rumble of something heavy moving around as I'm half asleep. Is someone here? My brain is too sluggish for thought. I couldn't say how long I slept. I remember it being dawn, but... A loud noise makes me spring upright. Young eyes are staring at me. I'm so sorry. I woke you up. Suzu? What are you doing here? The room was messy, so I thought I'd clean it for you. Sorry, I didn't ask permission first. That's not exactly what I meant. Oh, are you awake? Jeez, are you a little too careless? Christy, you are here too. She shrugs and sighs dramatically, very nearly rolling her eyes at me. You left the front door unlocked. Were you out investigating until late? It's not good to sleep on a sofa. I guess I didn't have the energy to make it up to my bedroom last night. Was I that tired? Yeah, something like that. Take better care of yourself. Or do you want some coffee? No, I'm fine for now. Uh, more importantly, why are you here? Christy glances over at me and huffs. I'm dropping off reports from Mr. Detective. Mr. Detective? It must be research for Mashta's case. But who'd have thought Christy would listen to a request from Mashta? That man is the worst. The attitude he had when asking for a favor if I didn't know you, I'd have flat out told him no. Guess she didn't agree because she wanted to. I understand, but why is Suzu here? I told her about my visit and I invited her. We exchanged numbers a while back. Yes, she certainly surprised me, suddenly asking for to be friends. It's the first time I've been friends with an adult. Christy whispers to me, I mean, I can't help but be worried. I have to make sure that creepy otaku isn't doing anything weird to her. They go after children sometimes. So that's why. 
She was worried because Ada is so forward. No more likely because Suzu is too innocent. But I'm a little relieved. You didn't seem very well when I was here before, so I've been worried. I'm glad to hear that. I wish Ada could have come with us. But he's working at a factory today. Sounds like Ada started working seriously. It's never too late to start something. I hope he tries hard. So moving on to the matter at hand. You heard how the owner of the hotel went missing, right? I have connections with the copy editor of that article, so I asked her. And sure enough, her expression clouds over. The hotel and rumors of its illegal services were juicy news for the media. They even knew that there was a mediator organization managing it. The reporters looking into the flow of cash actually got some concrete proof. Just telling all the story is fascinating because Christy used to be in the media herself. The things recorded in the guest books we found may have been connected. But before we talk more about it, Suzu, sorry, but would you mind doing more cleaning? I've been putting it off for a long time, so the second floor is a giant mess too. Oh, okay, I can do that. I'll borrow your cleaning supplies then. Susan skips up the stairs. Christy seems to immediately catch on. Not exactly a topic for kids' ears, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No, it really be as messy up there. Anyway, tell me more. Yes, so the media at the time should have been pursuing the heart of the matter, but it's like the case was hardly reported on. The media could win a story, so the police should have been briefed on it as well. And yet, what took place in Masquer what took place is masquerade is shrouded in darkness. It seems something behind all this. Behind? How do you mean? I don't know if this is true or not, but they had a whole list of all Masquerade's customers. Famous politicians and businessmen were on it. And that reporter who got the proof up and went missing. A number of freelancers on the case also went missing apparently. That's horrible. Those are the only words I can find to describe it. You're telling me. It's an outrage to silence those who are seeking the truth. It's bad. But it'd at least be a little better if it was the work of regular humans. The work of regular humans? What do you mean by that? Exactly what it sounds like. The truth is... I tell Christy about what happened yesterday. What we found in the hotel and what happened to Hido. The color drains from Christy's face until she's as white as the sheet. Suzu, we're leaving. With her sudden yell, Christy stands up and prepares to leave. What? What's wrong? No one told me. What? No one said a single thing about spirits like that being both. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I'm never going to face the spirit again. And I'm not just thinking about me. I don't want Suzu going through that either. Thinking about it, it makes sense. No one has the right to drag Christy and Suzu into a case like this, especially me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you involved. The research you've done is enough, so don't concern yourself about it anymore. Crystal looks at me in stunned surprise. No, I should be the one apologizing. I owe you. You did everything you could to save us, but we... Is something the matter? Susan re-enters the room, head tilted in confusion. 
I just remember something I have to do, so we need to leave. Sorry. We can keep cleaning next time, okay? Okay, I understand. Susan nods, though she looks suspicious. She's very perceptive. She has to have picked up the strain hour, the strain hour between us. Well then, see you, Mr. Ichigo. Right. Thanks for coming all this way. You were a great help. I'm very grateful. Christy quickly bows to me, her expression inscrutable. Excuses. I'll come again sometime, okay? Suzu puts her hands together and bows politely. Then she whispers in my ear so Christy can overhear. I'm so sorry. I caught a little bit of what you were talking about earlier. So, I contacted Ata. I'm sure she'll be helpful. Uh oh. To be honest, I can't imagine Ata being very useful. But Suzu has good intentions, so why not? Thanks, that helps. I do my best to smile and see them out of the mansion. I need to get ready soon and head out. Christie's information. I'm awakened by a noise to the, the next morning and I find that Christy and Suzu are here. Mashita asked Christy to bring me the results of his research on Yoto. Seems the place was famous for providing illegal services, though it was never reported to the police. It might have been because some of the guests were allegedly political bigwigs. I didn't think it would go for two days straight, but it's sprinkling again tonight. Gotta set the mood for the investigations, huh? Mother Nature is just taunting me. As the time comes to get the search started, two figures finally appear. Hey, right on time. Did you get any sleep? Daimon looks exhausted, probably as a result of everything that happened last night. Hello! Hello. Howdy! It's my turn today. Do this with shop. Banshee? I honestly never expected Banshee Ito to come help. But he definitely has some spiritual powers. Yes, Walker's judgment is on point. But more importantly, how is Hito doing? She's stable. She's showing no adverse symptoms, but she hasn't regained consciousness. And she's exhausted a lot of energy. Even being optimistic, it isn't good. At this rate, her life could be in danger. Is that so? I was prepared for bad news. The situation sounds exceedingly dire laid out like that. Laid out like that. Problem is, we don't know the cause. We suspect poison, but without knowing what kind, there's nothing we can do. What's worse, if we can find a puncture, wound for the infection point, uh, you can't give her a serum. Isn't that normally why you give patience when there's poison? Diamond looks exasperated or rather frustrated as he shakes his head. So just try your random antitoxins? Sure. If you want to kill her, go ahead. Even if we could get our hands on the poison, it takes some time to create the serum. would be too late. So there's nothing we can do. If we just had something kind of clue. I look up at the hotel basked in a sea of neon. 
there isn't much hope, but we cannot despair either. Oh, that's right. Just so you know. Diamond looks over at me. There was no mark on Hito's body. I see. Which means that the nightmare isn't starting again. I sigh in relief, the frozen chunk of fear in my chest melting away. I did some investigating on that myself, actually. I went to the warehouse last night. And what did you find? Nothing had changed. The Polonia box was still sealed. Is that right? Whew, well, that's good. That's the first good news I've heard in a while. Come on, you two. How long are you gonna stand around chit-chatting? Let's get going already. Alright, sorry for making you wait. This is everyone today, right? I hesitate for a second as Ita comes to mind. But this is all of us. Let's get started. Good, time to get a move on. He's so energetic that it's more worrying than reassuring. Why is Banshee this fired up? Just an FAU. F for your information. Old man. Uh, this place may be abandoned, but stealing is a crime. An ex-detective gave us the request. If you do anything illegal, are you? Why don't go around stealing things? I'm helping out a goodness of my heart. Anyway, who cares about that? Let's get searching. Sounds like Diamond hit the bullseye. Then she rushes ahead into the hotel, as if trying to get away. As troublesome as ever. Well, he's at least reliable at times like these. By the way, Ichigo, may I ask you to do something for me? No need to be so formal about it. If something were to happen to me, please move Hito to another hospital at once. I've spoken to another doctor I know. Okay. Then if I start acting strangely, I leave myself in your hands, Daimon. Yes, of course. And what will we do if we're both done for? Good question. Guess it'll be up to that grumpy detective. Right. Let's have him take care of it. Come on. We can let that guy wander alone. Still all fancy in here. Benshi's cheerful voice hits us as soon as we step inside. Hmm, maybe I could take I can make this my second home. Hmm, what's this glass case about? Talking to himself, he starts rummaging around. I already warned you once, old man. We're not here to play. I don't think Benshi's listening. As Banshee putters around by himself, he reminds me of what happened to Hito yesterday. We should stick together as much as possible. It's dangerous to go alone. Yeah, you're right. Hey, old man, are you listening? I have ears. He hears all right. He hears us all right, but clearly won't listen. Good grief. So Ichigo, you searched up to the third floor yesterday, which means we should look through the fourth floor and above today. Yeah, that's right, but is there a problem with the plan? When we went up the stairs to the fourth floor, we just ended up back on the third again. I tell them about the mysterious phenomenon we encountered yesterday. Are you sure you weren't just confused? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was real. 
then we're in trouble. If there's no other way to get to the fourth floor. What are you talking about? There's a way right over there. Easy. Then she unexpectedly butts in. What do you mean? That thing right there. See? Do you bumpkins not know what an elevator is? Taimo lets out an irritated groan. Old man, you know elevators need electricity to work, don't you? Do you think this hotel has any power? If there isn't any, then all you have to do is make it so there it is. There are devices that control electricity. I should know. I'm an expert. Oh, really? Is that so? Diamond size. I think he's lost the will to argue. Guess I'll just have to find the device thing myself then. He heads off, and after I had told him not to wander away from the others, I just ask you to not go off by yourself. Benji, I'm begging you, stay. I don't get to finish my sentence. A splitting pain pierces my head, and I fall to my knees. Ugh. Ichigo? What's wrong? My head suddenly. Do you get chronic migraines? Do you have any medicine on you? No, I don't think that. I don't think that's it. My head is just throbbing. A pulse and headache. If you don't have any medicine, then icing is the best. I'll go buy something from the vending machine. Sit here until I come back. Don't try to stand. You could fall over. I sink to the floor, unable to even reply. Before long, Taimon returns with a cold bottle of water, but... Strangely enough, my headache completely vanished while I was gone. While he was gone. It's hard to believe that a pain that intense would disappear so easily, but it did. Diamond doesn't seem particularly surprised when I tell him. No, it's not that odd. After all, we haven't clarified what caused the headache in the first place. I'm sure it's just exhaustion. You didn't sleep much yesterday, did you? That's true. I can't exactly say I got my dress. When you're under continuous stress, it's possible to get sudden headaches. Once you get home, you should take a bath or something and relax. Okay, I'll try that. All of that's common sense, but it carries weight coming from a doctor. Oh, by the way, Diamond looks around puzzled. Where's old man Banshee? Huh? I whip my head around searching, but Banshee is nowhere to be found. Jeez, already? I give up. Let's hope so. I'm quite worried. But there's nothing we can do. We'll let him do what he wants. As long as it's a proper investigation, the detective should have no complaints. Yeah, let's go. I see what looks like paper under the bed. I try pulling on it but it doesn't budge. I'll have to lift up the bed a little more if I want to get it out. What do you think? Can you lift this? 
Well, I can at least hold it up. I'll just have to give it a try. Make sure you don't hurt your back. One, two, three. We both lift the bat up together. I managed to drag the object out with my foot. I've got it. We can put it down now. Whew. I worked up a sweat. So, what did you find? Got contraceptive. Strange. It hasn't been found until now. Well, at least it hasn't been used. It's the door to the elevator. I try pulling on the elevator door. It moves slightly if I put all my weight under it. It's impossible to open it alone, but if I had some help, I might be able to force it open. Want to give it a try? Let me a hand. All right, I'll show you what I'm capable of now that I've gotten healthier. On my count, one, two. <clears throat> we must roll our strength and try two or three times to force the door open. Then. Whoa. There's the sound of something snapping and the doors suddenly slide open.